Lakeland Avenue, a safe place for all, or so it once was. Now, a once idealistic paradise has been transformed into a cesspool of crime and villainy. And at the heart of that transformation is Mace Squad, aka Mace Squad Martinez. Deported overseas by Fidel Castro, this cold-hearted Cuban has since ravaged the streets of Madison with his drug empire. It seemed Mace had a bright future, written in the stars. Enter Cecil Ross. After an ill-fated trip to Miami, Mason returned to find his blocks taken over by a cess squad. After losing all of his blocks, Mace withdrew to his estate, the Mace Squad estate. Guarding it with all of his goons, Sess had no other choice but to pick them all off one by one and slowly make his way into the estate for the kill. This is the story of Lake. Hey Ben. Hello. Alright. Okay. Um, well, let's just get started. Oh. Well, for a long time, you know, it was just that it wasn't really gangs at all. It was more like there were dealers, they kept to themselves, they sold the drugs, they sold the coke, they didn't want And then this guy, Mace, of course, he he came up with this revolutionary idea. And that was, why don't I get more guys? I pay them to work for me. Basically how we met was, well before I met him I was nothing. I was essentially just a low ranking, run of the mill drug dealer. I was just bottom of the ladder. So I'm just, I'm just selling marijuana on the street corner. So I'm nothing, right? Until I get approached by this guy. I don't know what his name is, I don't remember him. He approaches me. And he's just like, hey, you got the tank. And I was like, yeah, what's it to you? And he said, I'm looking for people. I'm looking for people for this new gang. It's called Mace Squad. And I was like, what do you do? Like, we deal drugs. It's the drug gang. And then I was like, a gang that deals drugs? It can never happen. It would never work. And I was like, you'd be surprised. And then he said, kid, just go for it. Make a gamble. Take a long shot. It's up this way. They find a dead body every day around here, don't they? Yeah. Well, that's just how it is, you know. Wait. All right. Hold back. All right. This kind of place. I'm gonna get shot up there in a second. Man, it's dead out here. Where is it? Oh man, no, no one lives here. These are all warehouses. Warehouses? Yeah, you know. Does anyone even yeah, come out? This place is just an empire, really. Everyone, everyone who isn't in the game just hides in the fear. I got it's you. It's a monopoly. That's harsh. Oh, well, you know, this here, like back in 02, this is where I conned out Mace. This is where. Everything went downhill. This is where shit got serious, alright? So, this means a lot to me, this place. It's got a lot of emotional value. Sess, uh, he shouldn't be too mad at you though, right? No, but you know, Sess, Sess would be happy to see me here because he knows, he knows it's gonna start something. Alright. Alright? All right. Careful here, man, alright? This is the dragon's lair. Very the beast. They don't welcome me here. Hey, how are ya? Okay. Who, who is this? Oh, I'm, just call me. Okay, we need somebody down here right now. Okay. Come, come on in, guys. What's up? Hey, I'm Seth Squad, king of the drug game. Personal stash right there. You ready? Let's do this. Ah, checking out my ink.
Hold on, let, let me get my stats. We'll be right back. All right, Sas Squad interview. How do you feel? I know. He's uh, clearly a hard hitting young gentleman. We're expanding every day. New York, Miami, Chicago. After the May Squad Empire toppled, I rose to the top of the drug game. There's only one last piece of property in this town that I don't own. The May Squad Estate. That's why tomorrow I'll be visiting 2320 Lakeland one last time. It speaks for itself. My main distribution center. I move 20,000 kilos a week. Alright. So Seth Squad, why do you choose to come play basketball today? I thought I'd show you guys my more personal side. You know, not the monster the media likes to portray me as. I have a basketball court, a playground. Sometimes I like to come out here and shoot hoops, watch your children play. It reminds me of my simpler days. Jeff. What do you have going on for us? They're still inside searching for evidence. I'm told six people have been arrested and charged with intent to possess and deliver cocaine. I'm told as much as 44 pounds of cocaine. As I said, they're still inside. They used a battering ram to break through glass in a steel reinforced door here. Hey guys, welcome to my estate. A fart nigga, that's that shit I don't like. I know. A snitch nigga, that's that shit I don't like. No. A bitch nigga, that's that shit I don't like. Well, well, we've had a we've had a few scuffles, but it's what comes with a healthy acquaintance. No. Sneak deserves that's that shit I don't like. No. Don't like, like, don't like. Well, I mean, three warehouses. I, I wasn't using them for much, anyways. So, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean. I still own this block. I like a snitch, nigga. That's that shit I don't like. Like, y'all don't like. Where are we right now? Basically, I'm kind of a big deal around here. Okay. Basically, I'm the big cheese around here. So, this is my team. I love my teams. I don't hustle much by myself anymore. These these guys do most of the work for me. Light, y'all. Don't light, light, no.